Alright YouTube, welcome to the next part of my uh, maze game uh, tutorial series. In this, as I promised last time in this video, I will show you guys how to create hazards, which will basically be holes that you can't pass uh, over. Well, you can pass over them, uh, but you have to be careful. You have to time your uh, passing, just, uh, you know, you don't want to fall in the hole. If you do, you're going to restart the level. Uh, so what I'm going to do, first of all, um, just to let you guys know, I didn't save the progress from last time, so I just recreated uh, the same levels and I changed the end zone to this location. The other thing I'm going to change is uh, I'm going to change the player's location, the start zone, to be the original the original start, uh, end zone of, no, not the original, sorry, uh, the end zone of the last uh, video. In this case, if I just go back to show you guys what I've changed, and you can obviously do whatever you want. But just to give you an idea of what I've uh, what I've done is you know you play go through it. Hopefully I'm taking the right path. Um, yes. So if I go, I know that um, that this is the new level because I'm not starting in the same area. So I know that I didn't restart. That was obviously way too easy to find, but yeah. That's basically how it's going to be. So, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do now is uh, add the holes. Control up. Now, you want to select the plane. Make sure that the plane is selected and hit tab. Actually, uh, make sure that you're on the second level. Control up. You can't switch unless you're uh, not in uh, full screen. Okay, so control. Well, not, not full screen, but you get what I mean. You should be on the second scene, okay, level two, which will be the last level for this game. Uh, unless you want to add more levels, then that's your choice. Basically, because this is level two, you know, you want to add another twist to it. So we are going to add the holes in level two, not in level one. Unless you want to add it in both levels, although, you know, you always want to have progression in your games. So what I'm going to do here is start, I'll just pick a few random spots here. And those are going to be the spots that are going to have the hazard that we're talking about. Okay, so let's just pick a bunch of them. Okay, I think this is fine. So we have five, uh, five bits of the grid here that will be holes. Now you want to extrude downwards. And obviously you want to make it as... Uh, as close to a square as possible. I think this is close enough. I don't need to make it perfect. And you notice that once you extrude, because we had a square texture, uh, it's gonna it's gonna apply the texture automatically. So it, it still looks fine. We don't need to retexture those uh, holes. So those are gonna be the basic holes. The next thing I'm gonna do, always keep saving. So Control S to save. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a cone. Obviously, you can have uh, hold up cone. Sorry about that. Enter. Uh, there is my cone. Let me just reduce the vertices. Doesn't need to be too high. I think 9 is f fine. Yeah, 9 is fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit tab, vertex, or line selection, scale it down to make it a bit more pointy, and uh, select everything by double pressing A, W, and shade smooth. This will smooth the. This is, this is going to smooth the sh shading. And we are going to put this down in one of the holes. Okay. So, put this down. This is fine. I'm just going to have a bunch of it. Uh, Shift D. Have a bunch of them there. Select this. Whoops. You want to make sure that the cones are selected. Why is my mouse doing this? Anyways. Yeah, you want to have it selected, and you want to duplicate them, just so it looks like there are enough spikes. I don't know why my mouse does that. 